if i'm going ahead with this mindset then i at times should consider those projects where i get a dld waiver if it's off plan they should see the payment plan what payment plan and what stage can you sell the property meaning read the terms and condition consult with the real estate agent or the developer i am entering into the market yeah and focusing on flipping a property okay. specifically based on this factor that the market is going up because now the market is not going up with the trajectory it was supposed to go correct. so that means the person who advised me mm. did not advise me correctly based on all the touch points if there is inventory there and you want to sell your unit on premium person would rather buy it from the developer because it is on the base price than buying your premium unit but, even if it's a but good but i location. don't agree to that why because Hi everyone. Welcome to another episode of The Break Buzz. Today I would be playing host and the guest today is none other than our own very own property guru Angela and the topic that we are going to discuss and cover is how to flip a property in this dynamic market of today. Let's start with defining what do you constitute as flipping? Flipping in the real estate term is constituted as or considered as buying a property for a short term uh, or a short amount of time and then selling it for a profit. So I really am not in favor of that. Why? Because in this day and age, unless you are 100% sure about the property and you know you've done your due diligence, you have 100% knowledge on that. uh then i would recommend or if someone you have consulted a real estate agent or you know you know about it then i would recommend it otherwise so clients don't you don't recommend to flip a property but there no. there there's so many clients what is the mindset of a of an investor hmm. who actually considers to buy a property and then flip it So I think uh, people who want to flip their property just want a quick buck out of their investment. What's what's the quick buck? Like Or like quick quick buck is see, anything between three to six months. Six months, I would say. Yes, three to six months. But even out of that, they wouldn't make that much. How much they would wait? Maybe after two years or three years, or if they invest in a community or off-plan project. they wait for about 3 to 4 years once it's ready then give it up on rent and then sell it after everything is mature i think they would earn more than wait doing this uh, flipping what if i tell you that yes it's a viable option and then yes you can flip a property uh, i mean there i wouldn't uh, let's I let's mean, present a case yeah in which what are the ideal scenarios in which you can flip a property So one of the scenario would be that um if the property is ready if you've bought it in off plan I bought it off plan Yeah I've just bought it Hmm it's been 2 months since I bought it Okay and I want to flip it So you have to make sure that the payment is done till a certain percentage de- uh, depending on which developer because some developers want uh l- allow you let's, to sell let's let's yeah. talk about mr mr tells you that the 40% payment around 40% payment has to 40, be made 50, yeah. so Return. in my opinion i think uh flipping is a very is, is not the most viable option hmm. but at times i have a client who has to flip because of some financial constraints hmm. how many real estate consultants are out there in the market who can actually flip a property Hmm. First of all, that's my question to you. I mean, what I don't get the question. Can you elaborate? Okay. I have a client. Yeah. He bought a property. Okay. 3 months down the line, he said no ask him, I want a bigger unit of 5 bedroom. Hmm. He bought a 4 bedroom. Okay. And now I would like to change it into a 5 bedroom. I'll have to sell it and buy another one. And hmm. that's I really want this and I want to do it in the quickest possible time. I need to sell my unit. Okay. So how many consultants are there hmm. who can actually take on the responsibility of flipping a property? I think in the in Dubai's market in your opinion there are very limited people because it how depends How much in terms of percentage? Say about 5% in 
in out of 100 because so guys, or lesser uh, there there are only 10% according to her if she says five, five. i think uh, hardcore professionals only yes. 10% who okay. have been doing real estate hmm. for over a decade okay and who have and real estate is their full time gig hmm. it's not like i'm doing cars i'm doing watches i'm doing so many other things in my life and in in addition to that i am also doing real estate if you go to them and hmm. ask them to flip a property it is a very uphill and challenging task do you agree with that yeah i mean if uh, they're not 100% doing real estate i agree they wouldn't be able to because they don't have the investor base they don't have people who they can maybe sell it to and have the next person upgrade anybody who has yeah. been in the market for 10 years has mm -hmm. an international and has yeah. in addition to being in the market for 10 years has been doing real estate day in day out correct and has a credible investor base hmm. locally and internationally and has been growing that investor base at least 20% per year yeah these are very tangible figures i'm giving you correct that is the person who will be more suitable hmm. to reach out to if you want to flip a property do you agree yeah okay agree. so now the second question hmm. if you are going to buy a mine to buy a property with the mindset that i'm going to flip it within 3 mm. to 6 months mm. what factors should you consider so it depends if it's an off plan property off plan property yeah i wouldn't uh, advise or recommend because you have to also see till what percentage the developer is allowing you to sell or resell that property I, sometimes I, I, for example for example the there's like some developers allow up to uh, 40% like mr mr yes. says yeah. mr says yeah so what are the resale conditions i have to and you have to read that part of the spa Correct. what yes. are the resale conditions even that property has been now constructed at 20% but you cannot flip a property until unless you have made 40% of the Correct. payments so there are uh, developers for example denube allows you uh, mr and other developers also say up to 40% you can sell your property or uh, you know but i would not recommend it at that time also why because people want to sell it at a premium then they yes. want their price but, but also, why not that's why i'm saying it's not viable for flipping or buying at that why time why not because a new person who is looking to buy it and then flip that property later at stage is going to be a loss because maybe what price they are buying it they're already buying it on premium and they might get that a better unit from the developer if there's inventory why would they want to buy it at that time very right so what are the terms and conditions what what for example if i am buying a property hmm. just from the perspective that i need to flip it okay so what do you have a checklist that i need to be considerate of factor 1 factor 2 factor 3 factor 4 yes firstly uh, if it's off plan they should see the payment plan if uh, what payment plan and how at what stage can you sell the property meaning read the terms and condition cons, uh, consult with the real estate agent or the developer at what stage exactly they can sell the property let's say 40% after 40% if they can and they are able to do the payment what if i have to do it before 40% uh can i cannot. do that no i i'm telling you i can do that how very simple hmm. i will ask the buyer yeah to come in okay. and pitch in the rest of the amount there is no problem in paying one but the developer is not going to allow you developer is going to allow that 100% if you say okay. if you go to mr or mm. if you go to denube and say okay this payment uh, plan says that i have to give the next payment next month i would okay. like to do the payment now okay. because i want to sell it and i want to come to that 40% mm. they would allow it okay if you say so no no i know so okay. we have done it so okay. what is the next point that that okay. we should consider so this okay. point is out yeah so uh, also when you're looking to buy the property uh, flip it if you're looking to flip the property you have to make sure you get a good uh, location the view should be good of an off plan project because later if you're looking to sell it at a premium or flip it at this stage that you're looking for after 40% 
uh, it should have at least a good view or even uh, let's talk about uh, a community nmr hmm let's call let's call it the valley okay if you are going in to that project hmm with a perspective that i want to flip it later on or any project of the, the mac like the sun city Correct. people bought it hmm which unit should i select i have for example if i have an option starting from uh, 2.4 million hmm and going up to 3.2 million yeah what's my prospective price point at which i should enter the market and buy a property and then that is the most prime property to flip so i would uh, recommend to buy a property even if it's at a higher like if your price point starts from 2.8 and it goes up to say to 3.6 to uh, yeah 6 say 3.6 i would recommend at that time spend money and invest in a bigger plot bigger size plot and a good location in the community maybe next to the pool or um, semi detached uh, unit or something that has a unique selling point in that unit why because later uh, down the line if you pitch it to someone else you have those it won't be like just like the you other villas you don't have other property exactly. for example if you have a community center yeah and if you have a pool and kids play area Close or by. park yes. and if you buy any property which is off that park it's always going to be premium so even if you want less units less yeah. number of units yeah at a prime location correct but that means you're not entering into that market at the starting price point you're correct. entering into the market at a higher price point so even if someone wants to pay or buy it later on in stage or you want to flip it someone is always going to buy it why because it has usps it's a bigger plot size it's close to the park or it's cl close to the pool it's a, or a semi detached unit everything will count at that time because if you buy just like the regular one everyone would be like why would i buy this when you know i'm getting a better unit in the same price agreed you yeah. and i are on the same page on this what's the next point that people should consider uh my next point would be that um when buying when selecting a property to flip what yeah. is the next thing that okay so i have heard from a lot of people or a lot of clients have come saying that you know real estate agents have committed them oh you buy this project or you buy this property and you know you sell it in 2 months or 3 months uh you'll get a profit on it i agree i mean i don't agree with that why because uh even when selling a project to any investor the real estate agent's job is to educate your client not just sell because you say oh i'm going to get a good commission out of it or whatever educate educate the client and tell them that you know you can sell it or flip your property at this stage at whatever stage they can so so we already established the point that uh, not you can't go to everybody and expect that property to be flipped yes. you need to have your game plan Correct. and you need to have your uh, respective property consultant in place who's yes. going to do or it for you only 10% of the time even if you're not going to a do consultant that. it's very important to understand what you're even signing with developers because some developers say okay you can do it but read your uh, spa it's SPA, written in the spa everything the very carefully conditions, the correct. resale conditions are very yeah. clearly identified in spas hmm. and i don't think anybody actually goes ahead and reads that yeah. if you read that it will be crystal clear to you correct uh the other point is for residential if people are uh, residential ready properties if people we just are we just first of all let's complete the okay for off plan, plan i think that's all my that's points all? what they should consider what about the total number of units in that community yeah so that's what i mentioned before like if for example you're looking to flip you should see for example uh say the mac or say any other prop, uh, developer if they have a large amount of inventory make sure it is at least number of units in the development are very important yes because if so the inventory with the developer is also very important why because if there is inventory there and you want to sell your unit on premium a person would rather buy it from the developer because it is on the base price than buying your premium unit but, even if it's a good location but i don't agree to that why because you, we have already discussed and agreed that we are not buying the base price unit 
hmm. we're buying a higher price unit which is near uh, which is which is facing the golf course which is facing the community pool hmm. which is uh, facing the park Correct. so but if you have a much larger community hmm. what happens that there are chunks of smaller parks okay there are chunks of smaller swimming pools hmm. and your property which is facing the park or facing the pool hmm. or facing the community center yeah might not be three to five to seven to ten might be uh, 35 40. Hmm. so in that case the competition hmm. from five goes to 40. yeah that's true but my point is like for example uh, like i said if the developer still has inventory and for example you buy a unit for 3.4 say hmm. now just because you know it's premium you might want to sell it for 3.6 even though the developer has inventory which will not be possible that's my point because if you know even your unit is premium during the phase and the um, you know developer has inventory say he's still selling for 3.4 you're still going to be in a problem because if you want to sell it for at a premium for 3.6 no one's going to buy from you so even with that inventory you have to make sure uh, the developers inventory is sold out and then you can sell in premium or invest in such a developer but then that means developer inv inventory might not be sold for the next three to three to six months no but i uh, and like what about the next phase credible developers their inventory is sold out very what quickly. about the next phase that's coming in then yeah but then you'll already have competition because anyways the next phase that comes the price is already increased price with, is already increased with um, you know a certain because obviously if they sell at say 3.4 they will anyways raise the new units to 3.6 or 3.7 so depending that means on that the, cannot be possible yes right not possible so <laughs> what about market conditions because I am entering into the market yeah. and focusing on flipping a property okay. specifically based on this factor that the market is going up. Hmm. If my due diligence or the consultant that has been advising me has not advised correctly, hmm. has not advised for the right selection of unit, uh, advised me for the right selection of unit, then what will happen? And if the market conditions go down, then I am at a losing battle. Yes my vantage point has gone because now the market is not going up with the trajectory it was supposed to go Correct. so that means the person who advised me hmm. did not advise me correctly based on all the touch points for a couple of years down the line yes and that is also that. adversely at times affects us yes so that's uh, what i was mentioning uh, regarding the off plan it's very important to know when to buy it and when to flip it if you are not aware of that, you're not going to be able to flip the property. One more factor. Yes. What about the associated costs? For example, I enter into a market. I said, I'll 24% I've paid. Mm. I would exit at 40%, which is the next. So normally 24% uh, is uh, being paid either one to two months mm. and then... Uh, around six to eight months you have to make 40 percent payments Correct. right yeah now i've made 40 percent payments hmm. and i want to flip it people don't consider the cost associated Correct. because if you are if it's a off plan unit then you are incurring an additional dld cost of four hmm. percent correct if it's a ready unit you are incurring a cost of around six to seven percent that's correct. also Hmm. If I'm going ahead with this mindset, hmm. then I at times should consider those projects where I get a DLD waiver as as an investor. Yeah, also I, I would go consider, into that yeah. find unit hmm. or I buy bulk buying because in bulk you can I get a, can get the either a DLD fee reduction hmm. or a DLD fee waiver. Yeah. That would give me the edge when I'm reselling the unit. Hmm. And I'm making 250 or 300,000 on it or 400,000 on it. Hmm. How much of that amount has been consumed by DLD fee? Correct. So that is also 
a very important factor that we need to consider also i'd like to add that if you invest with a credible developer for example i can give you an example of dp when uh, people invested dubai in holdings yes when people initially invested for example they bought properties for 1.7 okay even if you add the dld everything now the price is even after certain years they want to for example when it was ready even after it it got ready it was handed over and then people decided to sell it at that uh, point in time the prices were already 2.5 so even in, at that point in time once it was ready and they wanted to sell they're still making a profit at that time if they are ready yeah, to wait yeah but that's not flipping that's yeah. like you're doing it but even if you're you're investing a couple in of a, years down the line yeah, so even if you're during that time and you want to sell it um uh, in a community where you know that it's going to uh, develop and uh, there are things like say schools or nearby there's going to be a community center like credible developers your capital gain is more so people are ready to even pay that price when they know that the community is going to develop and expand for example uh, so the choice of choice location, of the development the yeah the community is very important where you want to flip exactly so you have to go into that purchase yeah. with the mindset then you have to be very careful in the selection of the people who are actually going to help you in buying that yeah and they should know their game a mm. real estate consultant who's advising you should know that yes i know my game i have the capacity to flip it yeah because we just discussed that there are only 10 percent real estate professionals out there who have the capacity and i'm not mincing my words here correct 10 percent is 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 still i think we we are we are over extending that hmm. boundary hmm that's true actually that is an amazing idea because uh, i had no i was not aware that uh, i i only thought once they do the 40% then they can sell anybody it. who does the 40% yeah so after the 40% they can sell it because usually when even you're selling the property the uh, you are requested you have to ask the developer for an noc to sell it to the next person so, so they only give it once the, the 40%, 40 is done so yeah so step 1 yeah you as a consult as a real estate professional you have to find people who are willing to buy that correct who understand that yes this is not a unit which was of the base price because the base price unit doesn't have the best va uh, value hmm. doesn't have the best view hmm. doesn't have the best plot size hmm. doesn't have the best layout hmm. and will certainly not have the prime most location within that community hmm. it's for sure yeah right hmm. so if you know that your investor is entering into this deal or entering into this transaction hmm. for a quick flip yeah let's say 6 months 7 months then the value of the property not the price hmm. the value of the property should be such that it can constitute a quick flip over one you should be in sync with the developer hmm yeah you should know that the developer is going to allow this is going to allow a transaction mm. what are the modalities for that transaction and how that can be implemented so everything in this mm. should be crystal clear correct i agree so now after this mm. do you still believe that flipping is not a viable option uh no i don't because you were you were on the fence you you're not on the fence you you said it's not a viable option see uh and nowadays um the because what people have as a mindset for flipping is that they buy or do a, just maybe the 20% down payment and after one month they want you to sell the property but that's that's what if if you have reached out to a consultant yes who has advised you mm. then you have the first and foremost thing that a person needs to do is to invest time and energy into finding yes. the real estate professional who's going to help you mm. so you have made a bad choice 
Yes, that's what I am against is that people who come with a mindset even from uh, different countries saying that, oh, I'll just invest now, put 20%, make some profit and then go out of the market. Their agenda is just to make quick money yes. and get out of the market. Because I'm not, uh, I'm not in favor of that. I am not in favor of that. That's what I am against. Because uh, sometimes it's not possible and they don't even take uh, complete… What if it was possible? Then what? Then it's fine. But nowadays they should take guidance or they should uh, gather the information before they do any such thing. Because people think, okay, I'll do, I'll invest in an off plan, I'll pay 10%, 20% and then flip it which I don't think it can be done as you said if they go to a, but on their own cannot be done or maybe if they have someone who they will say they get lucky but I don't think that should be done. It's not an advisable option. It's not advisable. I don't think it should be done. That's uh, my point. In. Uh, so for me international clients who approach me and say that you know for I'll invest 10% or 20% and then immediately uh, flip the property only for a profit of you know just a little money I would not recommend it I rather tell them to wait till a certain time pay the installments at least till 30 or 40 percent once in a with a credible developer and then sell it Be at that point in time if they select a good unit and they select um, like the good uh, good location with a credible developer they'll get more profit than waiting for one or two months and selling the property with just a little bit of profit what's wrong with that um why invest in real estate I'll, 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 no no I'll, I'll tell you yeah what is the profile of that investor generally speaking hmm. that investor invests hmm. in commodities Correct. Because the commodities… There are the invest in stocks. Why would you re re do it in yeah. real estate? Because yeah. at times the commodities are not doing as well. Okay. And they have the surplus money, mm. but they have the mindset of the commodities and the stocks. Okay. Where a quick turnaround is always there. Mm. So with that same mindset, they mm. say, okay, now the commodities are not doing well. Mm. The stocks are not doing well. Mm. What should I do next? Hmm. Where should I, I have the surplus money, where should I take that money? Hmm. I'm going to invest it in real estate. Okay. But if that is the mindset and you, and you deduce that mindset in your discussions with that individual, hmm. because once you're going to enter into a discussion, you will yeah. say, okay, what are you looking for? Hmm. Uh, capital gain, rental yield. If that means rental yield is, so now yeah. we're talking about these individuals who have, who generally are traders. Correct. who generally are investors in commodities and in stocks hmm. and their turnaround time is much quicker than your real estate which you're talking about so when you go into that discussion with that investor that are you looking for rental yield or capital gain or what part of rental yield and what part of capital gain will constitute your investment hmm. then you'll come to the realization that this individual is in this game for a shorter period of time correct and that shorter period of time dictates that they should not buy the baseline plot size hmm. they should not buy the cheapest property available within that community correct so then it is up to you hmm. to start from that perspective hmm. and have that thing in the back of your mind hmm. that what are you going to invest them hmm guide them educate them and direct them towards hmm. not every launch hmm. would be suitable for them correct yeah not every project would be viable for them hmm. i would look for the most premium units i would look for smaller communities hmm. i would look for a project which is more credible I would look at the market dynamics and the conditions at that point in time. Hmm. I would look at how the developer's inventory is stocked hmm. and what is the timeline, generally speaking, yeah. in, my, in my experience of that uh, inventory to expire hmm. or exhaust. Hmm. And at the back of my mind, I should have a list of those investors who missed out on the opportunity yeah. within that community so I can reach out to them 
कि नाउ आई हैव समबडी हु हैज परचेज्ड अ यूनिट एंड इज नाउ रेडी टू सेल एंड देन आई शुड बी वेरी क्लियर इन टेलिंग माय इन्वेस्टर दैट विद इन सिक्स मंथ्स दिस इज द अमाउंट यू आर लायबल टू मेक डू नॉट ओवर प्रॉमिस देम यू यू विल बी मेकिंग अ मिलियन नो इन सिक्स मंथ्स यस इफ इट्स अ ट्वेंटी मिलियन दरम प्रॉपर्टी यस बट इफ इट्स अ स्मॉलर प्रॉपर्टी इफ द प्राइस द टिकट साइज स्मॉलर then this is the actual figure that with my experience i can tell you that you you will be making this so yeah, now hmm. what are your thoughts on flipping an off plan unit i think it's a good idea but only again if you have the knowledge and you consult a real estate agent or either you do your due diligence before going for it Now let's come to ready units. Yes. What's the flipping point in that? What so factors do you think flipping and a ready unit hmm. is is a viable option? It is a viable option, but uh, you have to again there are criteria to that as well. Uh for ready properties I would say the person who is looking to flip should buy something which is in distress. who someone is selling on a good community again re- reliable developer why because if they buy it in distress they have a certain um you know price point where they can earn a profit on secondly if they buy it at a certain stage in time where the property is not completely appreciated or uh gone in such a such a stage where uh, there won't be any capital gain they will get a good profit out of so it so give me a give me a Give me an example of um, so, if if a market price is two million. Yeah. And I buy it at what what is the price point I should buy it in order to flip it? So if uh, someone is selling it at distress and they are ready even to Dis- sell it define for define distress. Like someone for a two wants, million for a two million dirham property, what should what would you consider? Some distress? people they want to like exit the property market because of whatever circumstances. They some people are also willing to sell it for one point five or one point say six seven or six or seven because they need that money. because of whatever reason even if someone buys it for 1.5 say in a community for imar or uh, a good developer that property if it's in an initial say, stage if it's not completely um, you know not many properties are going to come around that area would that price point can go up to 2.5 or 2.7 but not but not uh, the price point is going to go to 2.7 in due course of time it yes. will not happen so Even yeah. if you buy it on distress, what's yeah. the amount of distress? So at least even if they buy it for one point seven, they're still making a profit of how, how much? They can get two point two on that around. If the if the market value is two million, yeah, I buy minimum it. they can get two point two, but it can go up to two point five also. No, but that is again yeah. in in future. And yeah. if I want to buy it and exit in two months, yeah, then mm. what? Let's say a market value of a property is two million. Hmm. what will constitute a distress sale so distress sale could go up to 1.8 uh, i'm, I'm sorry i yeah. i do not agree with that why okay a property price is 2 million okay. i get it at 1.8 okay give me the 7% of 1.8 it is going to be 120 or something yeah so i'm losing 120k there okay what is the amount left with me nothing hmm so in a ready property hmm. when you're going for it okay you have to add a value of 6 to 7% percent. Hmm. 4% percent dld fee 2% agency commission vat then you have to give the registration charges and you have to g- give the the center charges and the transfer charges so correct just consider 7% percent. hmm 6 to 7 and 6 is exact it goes up to 7 with with some uh, minor payments that you have to make mm. so 7% additional means for a 2 million it constitutes uh, 140k yeah so you are losing out on that 140k because you're not buying it mm. if you if you're buying it for flipping then you're not considering the price yeah you're considering the payout that you have to do 
hmm. and your payout is not one two million. Your payout is two million one hundred and forty thousand. Correct. Yeah. So, with that, hmm. give me a figure hmm. of what would constitute a distress. Let's talk about distress sale. What, in your opinion, constitutes a dis distress sale? Selling for in an emergency or selling at a price lower than the market value. Okay. Way lower than the market value. And so, for example, one of the, one of, one of, what is the biggest factor in a distress sale? An actual distress sale. How do you know this sale is distress and this sale is just pretending to be distress? So, if, uh, for example, in a deal or a sales uh, offer, if, for example, the price of the unit is actually 1.2 and uh, the owner is asking for 1.4 just because he wants that money or more the than… The price is 1.2 and he's asking 1.4. Yeah. So, that, I mean, and then he says, okay, I'm ready to sell for 1.4. You know, two even, whatever. That is not considered because he wants extra money. I understand. So, what but constitutes? If, a, what is the definition of a distress sale? If the property value of uh, in the current market is, for example, one point two, and he is selling at say nine hundred thousand or eight hundred thousand, that would be a distress because he's selling way and, below. And and what the, additional factors? There's one very important factor in a distress sale. I don't know. In all kind of transactions. Time. Okay. Time. Hmm. If there is an actual... You see all those ads in, in, in various portals. Yeah. The property is there for the last four months. Hmm. I'm sorry, that's not a distress sale. Correct. That's somebody trying to lure a client... Hmm. And most of the times, the properties are not even available. Correct. You call them, oh, this property is sold. Now I have this property available. Why don't you buy this property? Hmm. And it's on, and on this price point. Correct. A distress sale. Hmm. What is distress that a client needs money urgently? Hmm. Because Correct. of that urgency in time, hmm. I'm willing to lower my price in order to close that transaction immediately. Correct. Yeah. So, always look at the time stamp. Hmm. If the time stamp is correct, that means it's either an actual distress sale hmm. or something that is just pretending to be a distress sale in order to attract clients. Correct. I agree. So, with that, because for example, if I've not paid my service charges for two years, Hmm. Or I've not, or or my property is in shambles, or it has a huge terrace hmm. which is not being utilized, and I paid over and above in some enthusiasm, hmm. and now the market correction has happened, hmm. and I know the actual price of this has gone down. Hmm. I bought something for one point two. What if the market value is nine hundred? Correct. So, your due diligence hmm. with respect to the market dynamics and the time stamp that has on hmm. would tell you whether that is an actual distress sale or not. Correct. So, do you think uh, any other factors hmm. which will, if you, if you want to flip it, what would you consider doing to a property in order to flip it at a faster pace? Uh, there's one more point that I could add is that if it's a ready property, either buy um, property where, again, the location is good and, for example, the beachfront properties, if uh, even you buy it at the current stage where the market value may be uh, So, the market high, value is 4 million. Yeah. You bought it at 4 million. Yeah. You there think you will be able to flip it in within three months, two months? Yes, you can if it is at a good location, say if it's at… It's um, on the best location. Yes. It's, it's you can get that price. Why? Because it's already at a… Say it's a premium location, you, you have, have an a good example. View. You have an example of something which is in MJL. Yes. You will are get you, that Are you premium. able to sell it, it yes. that quickly? 
Yes, you can. If you want a For certain... the market price, can you flip yes, it? Yes, you can. Not... Uh, see, if you're asking for more than the market value... Flipping with, means yeah. within the shortest period of time. Correct. The only way is mm. either you drop your property Correct. value mm. or you bought a distress. Yeah. And one other factor, Angela, is mm. if you fix it, Correct. fixer upper model, Correct. that middle, you, you buy something, mm. you renovate it completely, mm. then it becomes a unique unit. Correct. Why yeah. are all these properties that are coming uh, to Dubai and we have a segment where uh, you have some watch brand associated or you have some car brand associated or you have any other brand, fashion brand associated with that property hmm. to give it a sense of uniqueness hmm. and to give the client a sense of uniqueness that whatever they are buying and whatever they are investing in hmm. is not a cookie cutter solution. Correct. Yeah. You when you reach out to your investor in order to convince them to buy this property which you are going to flip mm. you can have few factors you can either say the price is very nice so that means it's well below the price but that's a distressed sale that's not a flipping property because when you want to flip mm. if you are my client and you want to flip and you give a property to me and i reach out to a third person i would say i can't offer you a distressed price because my client is looking to make some money, right? So mm -hmm. the distress part is gone. The only other part in which I can try and convince my client is if it has some sense of uniqueness. Yeah. That means if it's in one of the uh, earlier buildings in, for example, Medina Jumeirah, mm -hmm. MJL, and if the property has been refurbished, although it's a new property, but it has been completely redone, mm -hmm. That means it has a sense of uniqueness. And you would then convince your client hmm. based on that sense of uniqueness to invest in there. So Angela, on that basis, I would consider that now you would not primarily focus on flipping a property, but you would consider this. Any closing remarks from your side? No, I would definitely, uh, if someone's looking for a quick you're, profit. You're, you're still not convinced. No, not 100%, but uh, <laughs> yes, I'm a little convinced. Maybe I can um, give my investors the options you have suggested. Uh, but still, again, I don't 100% recommend it. I would still prefer clients to buy off-plan projects, wait till it's ready and sell it because there's more profit, more capital gain in those properties rather than buying it now and just flipping it for a little bug. But then again, people who have that mindset or have that uh, agenda who don't want to wait in the long run because of whatever reasons, uh, I would recommend this option to them. So on that note, I would 100% agree with you on that, that real estate is a long-term game. Correct. And people who come into this scenario hmm. should, should consider long-term investments Correct. and the long-term gains they're going to go get out of this. Hmm. So I'm 100% convinced on that. And uh, hmm. with that, that's all for us for today. I hope uh, this, was, this discussion was of some value to the clients. And if you have any questions regarding flipping or what to do in this scenario or should you as an investor consider this or not and if you have your own points which you'd like to bring to our attention please do so on that note we're signing off from the breakfast